G'day you cheeky dogs. Today we're going to be talking about the new Bluey 28 minute episode called The Sign. And if it is actually about Bluey selling her home, aka the Gila house. G'day cheeky dogs. My name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Now I'm going to go through all the information suggesting that yes, they are selling the house. Oh, okay. As well as all the information saying that maybe they aren't and then my own personal opinion at the end. Yeah! But I do want to make it very clear. All of this information comes from stuff that is already available. It is from podcasts with Joe Brum. It is from the Bluey website and details that they have put out there about the episode The Sign, as well as all of the trailers that the Bluey website and ABC Australia have released as well. This is a theory video. I have not seen the episode The Sign. So this is all coming from everything we've found out so far. I'm <laughs> I will of course be doing another video about everything else we know about this episode and that will be out later this week. So if you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button down below as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know when that video comes out because there's some stuff about Brandy in it. But back to the Gila house being for sale and where did this theory originate from? Now this has been all over Reddit for the last couple of months ever since we found out that there is a Bluey episode called The Sign coming out and that's kind of where it starts with the title of the episode because most Bluey episode titles are literal they're not really ever metaphorical in any way so The Sign what could a literal sign be? A for sale sign of course. This also would explain Bluey's reaction and some of the scenes we've seen from the trailers as well. What? So one of the main scenes we saw was Bluey being really sad in her classroom. She obviously had said something to her classmates that made them really shocked and surprised and sad as well. Like if you look at Jack's face, he looks so sad and Mackenzie's is super surprised as well. So what could it be that she said that made her classmates so upset and surprised? Most likely that she is moving away somewhere, that she is not going to be in their class anymore, that she won't be at their school anymore. And maybe this is because Bandit got offered an amazing archeology span job, but it means that they might have to move to a different country. And this could explain again why he might have been sad in Stickbird and so deep in thought because maybe he was trying to decide whether or not they should move and how much that would change the girls' lives. Hey, Gila. Oh, sorry, what? Nothing. We do have a scene in the trailer that Calypso manages to cheer Bluey up. She looks a lot happier and maybe Calypso is just telling her that this is going to be an amazing new adventure and she has to be brave. Let's play on! Which could then tie into the scene there where we see Rusty say, hey, let's play army, and everyone's really excited. Contact! What do we do? Fall back! Ah! Because army is a whole game about being adventurous and being brave as well. Was there something wrong with your old school? No, there's something going on with me. Well, you're really good at playing army. Now, some other clips we saw from the trailer were to do with the episode Ghost Basket, which is being released with the episode The Sign. So Ghost Basket is coming out on April 7th and The Sign is coming out on April 14th. And the Bluey website specifically says that the episode Ghost Basket sets the stage for the episode The Sign. Money, lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> and from the clips that we can see from these trailers, it looks like Bandit is trying to sell the house to Chili. And of course, we have like a whole granny episode thing going on. I said we'll have to walk! Oh, this might be love. And Joe Brum has said in past interviews on podcasts that he really likes to show how kids work through big emotions and things that have happened through them through play. Specifically, he was talking about the episode Space, but we have seen him do it in multiple other episodes. That's, look, I, I read a lot about play therapy. Well, I read a lot about play, but I, I've mm -hmm. been reading a lot about play therapy in particular and how the, the teachers or the people who facilitate that kind of conduct it. So perhaps he was using this idea to show Bandit, showing Bluey how to work through this emotion through play. But why would they even want to sell the house in the first place? And from like a behind the scenes standpoint, this could obviously be done as a plot device to like take the show in a new direction, or it could be done as a complete finale for Bluey as well. No! Maybe they want to end the show on a high note, but also the voice actors of all the children are getting older really fast. And maybe they just can't keep up with it and they want to show a time jump or something of them living in a new house with older characters for Bluey and Bingo. Mine! I know it's yours, Muffin. I'm just borrowing it. And I hope we're friends forever and ever and ever. So that's all the theory for, yes, they're selling the house and why. So let's talk about everything against this theory as well. And again, from a logistical standpoint with like money, time and effort, this makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> 
Again on other podcasts, the lead art director, Costa Kassab, has talked about how they had over a hundred different designs for just the kitchen in the Gila house. And we have seen the Gila house change so many times now. They must have thousands upon thousands of different like animations for every single room in that house as well as the backyard. <laughs> 36 meters? How is it 36 meters? So if you can imagine all that time and effort that they put in for three seasons of the show, only to just completely start from scratch again, it doesn't really make sense, does it? I mean, the Gila house is so incredibly iconic to the fact that they actually recreated it in real life for an Airbnb for just one weekend before they completely got rid of it, which still blows my mind, like what a waste. But it was so successful and it garnered so much attention that they did decide to make an actual Bluey's World in Brisbane. And this is not just a standalone, a few months kind of project sort of thing. This is an actual real life attraction that is going to be existing in in Brisbane from August this year onwards. All the information has said that it is going to be a life-size version of Bluey. It is going to show her bedroom, the kitchen, the backyard. It's a permanent installation that is supposed to attract visitors from Australia and from overseas, and it's projected to make at least $18 million a year in tourism. Five bucks! So do you really think that they're going to risk $18 million, as well as all that time and effort for all these animations, just to completely change their house? Mm, I don't think so. Five bucks. That's what she left all Bluey's friends. So yes, this is my opinion now on all of this. And no, I do not think that they are going to be selling the Gila house. I think it just doesn't make any sense from like a money and logical time and effort standpoint. Look, it's just monkeys singing songs, mate. Don't think too hard about it. However, from a plot standpoint, sure, I could understand maybe them bringing up the idea of them selling the house, because that does happen to a lot of families and a lot of children. Their parents change jobs and they have to move. So yeah, this would make for a fantastic storyline for something for them to explore with Bluey and Bingo. I do have a feel that within that 28 minute episode that that will be resolved. And maybe it's resolved because they decide to stay because maybe someone's having a baby, maybe like Frisky. Who knows though, that is just a theory that I will be talking about more in my next video with everything else we know about the episode The Sign with Brandy, Grandpa Bob, and Frisky. Please comment down below and let me know what you think of this. Do you think they're selling the house? Or do you think they're not selling the house? Why would they? Anything that you want to talk about, let me know in that comment section down below. So again, like I mentioned, don't forget to hit that like button down below, that subscribe button, and that bell for notifications, so you know whenever I'm releasing any other videos. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch, and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!